All right, Detroit Lions uh, shuffling around the roster a little bit. Let's break it down, specifically in the running back room as we head into play the Baltimore Ravens. And we'll, we'll break that game down a little bit at the end of the video. Uh, some really exciting storylines to look for in that game and, and really one of the last tough remaining games for the, for the Lions. So it's like, oh my gosh, what if they win this game on the road? You kind of look at the schedule, it looks really good. So let's take a look at it here first. Um, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. We make videos about the, the Lions and the Pistons. Uh, but, but right now it's all Lions. Um, obviously, the Lions are doing so well. So here's what's going on in the running back room. Obviously, David Montgomery goes down with a rib injury. And this is from Pride of Detroit. Appreciate them for putting this together. But Jameer Gibbs has missed the last two weeks, but is trending in the right direction. More on that in just a second on will he actually play or not. Craig Reynolds is healthy and solid, and I and I made the comment that he's not dynamic. He's not. Craig Reynolds is just a good uh, second or third string back. I mean, he just is. He's not going to be your starter guy that leads you to the Super Bowl. He's just a, a great guy to have. We're lucky to have him. Zonovan Knight came in, but he got injured, injured his shoulder. So then the Lions get Ozigbo, and now we find our newest guy that we just signed, and actually re-signed, and that's Mo Ibrahim. Remember, he was an undrafted free agent from Minnesota, had a long career there, very successful, had some injuries at Minnesota, COVID, and he was trending in the right direction during training camp but had an injury. And then luckily, Brad Holmes releases him on injury settlement, which is different than just releasing him. And we'll get to that in just a second. But the injury settlement parameters have expired. And the Lions are giving Ibrahim another chance to impact the roster. While he may be called upon early to contribute to injuries, he's also a player that could stick around all season because of his developmental upside. So this is what's important. We've got room on the roster for him. So he's going to come in to the practice squad and gives us some depth at running back. So just to recap, it's going to be Jameer Gibbs, Craig Reynolds, and Ozigbo are our three running backs going into the to the game. And so it really comes back to Gibbs. So let's talk about Gibbs. Gibbs, and this is um I, I love looking at fantasy reports actually because fantasy they they they're not messing around when it comes to injuries and should you play and should you not. So if Jameer Gibbs put your money on him, absolutely. So Jameer Gibbs um against the Ravens. So Craig Reynolds, here it is, and they just kind of go on to talk about how. The Ravens come in with a 13th best defense against running backs in fantasy. Derrick Henry was RB5 against them in week six. And Spears came in at RB30. So the, the Ravens are a good team against the run. They, they've been like that forever. They'll always be just solid with, with Harbaugh as the coach. But Gibbs is trending to play. And the reason he that he's trending to play is because Dan Campbell didn't give any updates on it because they're not doing a traditional practice today uh, because of the heavy workload, physical team last week, physical team this week, kind of in the middle, middle of the season here, getting there. And he just wanted to give them kind of almost a day off and do more mental stuff. So he said, I'm not going to give any injury updates, um, but he didn't give any negatives either. So and, and he's been trending this way. And Dan Campbell, what's so nice is he's really open and honest about the injuries and said, Jameer Gibbs is heading in the right direction. He said that last week. So, Expect to see Jameer Gibbs. And so when you look at this game, and we'll go back to the Moham, uh, Mo Ibrahim in just a second, but I want to I want to look at this game just, just really quick. The Lions schedule is very favorable um, down the stretch. I mean, it's, it's really cool, and it's like, don't apologize for nothing. I mean, Lions have gone through a lot. We all have over the last 30 years. This is great to see the schedule. Let me pull it up just so we can see it. Uh, one more time here. If you look at the schedule, we've got the Buccaneers. Look at just, I mean, look at this. Falcons, domination. Packers, domination. Not even close as that score. Panthers, dominated. Buccaneers, controlled. That is a good team. That's probably going to win that division with a good defense. And the Lions just controlled it on the road. Now you go play the Ravens. And you look at this next three-game stretch. Raven at Ravens, Monday Night Football, and then at the Chargers. And 
it's like, okay, let's just kind of see where we're at after these three games. The buys mixed in there as well. And then look at this schedule where you go Bears, Packers, Saints, Bears. I mean, even if you could win three out of four there, you know, whatever. Broncos, Vikings aren't, you know, Cowboys, okay, maybe. And then Vikings again. So if you really look at it, just look at games that maybe the Lions, just any ones that are kind of tough. You just say those are losses. So let's say we lose Ravens, beat the Raiders, lose to the Chargers, uh, lose. I'm trying to find losses here. Lose one of the Vikings games and lose to the Cowboys. That's four more losses. So that puts you at 12 and five. Wow. 12 and five. So that's 12 and five. And that's like looking for losses, trying to find losses. So 12 and five would be the Lions. So what I'm where I'm going with this is, you want to win let's go win but i'm i'm like i'm so like stress free watching the games lately it's been like blowing my mind and here's what i mean in the past lions were always just never great so you had to get every win you could if it was a close game you had to have it cuz you didn't know if you'd be in the uh, in a close game next time or you knew you were going to be tough scraping out 5 6 wins and so it's like man it was devastating when you lost even if the lions lose this game they're in great shape Yes, I get, I mean, even talking about seeding in the NFC and you want to be ahead of the the Niners and the Eagles, I get all that. But at the same time, what a great place that the Lions are in that even if you lose, you're still good. You're going to lose some games, right? I don't see the Lions going 16 and one. Uh, they're going to they're gonna lose some game, a couple more games. And it's just, you see the mentality, all of, all of what you see is just like this is sustainable the stafford wins and the and the winning there that we had a little bit in 2011 14 15 whatever it's like oh it's just miracle city right it was stafford bringing us back we're down by six with a minute to go no timeouts and st somehow stafford and it was like awesome but man or you'd lose in a heartbreaking fashion because you weren't even in the game really and so you know it's just this is drama free control the game hit third downs stop them on third down and absolutely loving it so mohammed ibrahim go back to him real quick remember he was a guy that we were all looking at is it going to be him or reynolds going out of camp and reynolds ends up staying because ibrahim had an injury so he's healthy he's a guy that is a balanced runner he's not overly big he's not small he's almost kind of reynolds size he's a little bit faster and he's a guy that can just come in and bring stability to the to the practice squad. And then from there, he could be RB3, depending on how long David Montgomery's out. We don't know how long that rib injury is going to be. Could be two weeks, four weeks. I don't, I don't know when it comes to rib injury. So Muhammad Ibrahim is in. The Lions are going against the Ravens. I guess I didn't really preview it. I was just more like previewing how the schedule and being like, it's not like, oh, we got to have this. I mean, I, I know that's weird to say, but it's, yeah. Yeah, you want to win, duh. But I'm just I'm just saying this is, a, this is a great game. Another measuring stick game. If they win again, I'll just be even more impressed. I, I am so impressed with this team. But um, the schedule looks good. The Lions are going to lose again this year, right? So prepare yourself for that. But so far, so good. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, and we'll see all of you on the next one.